The Hummingbird is the most unique e-bike we've reviewed so far. It's the lightest, most compact e-bike we've ever seen. I'm Zach, and we're gonna show it to you next on Now You Know. Okay, first of all, look at this bike. Just look at it. Have you ever seen anything like it? I haven't, and that's because the Hummingbird is super engineered, made of super lightweight materials, and it's super expensive. Now, usually the super expensive part is immediately a full stop for me, but hang on. Let's consider that it's not unusual for the avid bicyclist among us to spend thousands of dollars on a bike. You know who you are. So let's not dismiss the Hummingbird because of the price. The price tag, which by the way, is 4,495 pounds or about $5,800. Rather, let's look at what this bike has to offer. Hummingbird was founded in 2016 by designer Petre Kransium. Petre wanted to solve a problem. Namely, he wanted a folding bike that his girlfriend could carry around. First off, the Hummingbird is meticulously designed and hand-built in England. Hummingbird touts this as the ultimate city bike, and here's why. It's super light. At 10.3 kilograms, or 22.7 pounds, it's super easy to lift onto subway platforms and upstairs. How did they get at this light? The frame, the front fork, and even the seat posts are all carbon fiber, built by ProDrive, the same company that makes bodies for motorsports race cars for Aston Martin. Now for the folding part. The Hummingbird CNC machined aluminum rear stays pivot around the bottom bracket, and the distance between the bottom bracket and the rear hub stays constant during the fold. Okay, what does all that mean? It means that there is no need for a chain tensioner, which reduces weight and keeps things simple. Hummingbird claims you can fold the bike in five seconds. It took us maybe 10 seconds, and we could probably improve it if we practiced a bit more. But needless to say, it's fast. So fast that after about a week of riding, you wouldn't think twice about folding it up and hopping on the train. There's no fiddly bits, and it actually locks closed, unlike most folding bikes. You can even remove the front wheel if you want to make the whole package even smaller. And the reverse is fast too. Up goes the handlebars, Flip the wheel from under the frame, a flick of the quick-release skewer, and you're on your way again. Even the pedals come on and off quickly. Pop! They're off, saving even more space. The small diameter wheels are Hummingbird's own design using ultra-light alloy rims and German Schwable Kojak tires. The handlebars with foam grips are adjustable up and down only by 5 centimeters and only by rotating them in the stem clamp. The stem post is fixed. The saddle is tiny and firm, with high-density padding and carbon rails to add stiffness, designed for weight, not comfort. The carbon fiber seat post has some flex, which is kind of helpful for comfort, but keep in mind this bike is not designed for long rides. These are AS CNC brake levers, which are of course lightweight. The brakes are Tektro dual pivot calipers and Jaguar stainless steel cables for very good stopping power. This is a single speed bike using a Shimano Alfine 48 tooth chain ring and a 13 tooth sprocket and a chain guard to protect your pants. It's a mid range gear for all round riding. Now I hear what you're saying, how am I gonna get up hills? So let's talk about the electric part. The Hummingbird has a 250 watt rear hub motor weighing in at just 3.4 kilograms or seven and a half pounds, giving the Hummingbird the highest energy to weight ratio of any bike on the market. The battery is also contained within the hub as well, so you plug the charger in here and it takes about two hours to recharge. The effective range is 30 kilometers or 18 miles. You pair your bike with the Hummingbird My Bike Bitride app. Here you can adjust the top boost speed, the assist level, and the brake level. As you can see, there are no controls on the handlebars, so how do you turn on the bike? You start riding. You get it up to speed, about eight to 10 kilometers an hour, and then rotate the pedals backwards three times. This turns on the motor, giving you motor assist in a very comfortable, almost unnoticeable way, up to speeds of 15 miles an hour. To use the regen braking, you pedal backwards while riding, which didn't take long to get used to and felt really nice, especially on curves when you need to slow down. This will save your brake pads and even give your battery a slight boost, although it's very slight. The ride was surprisingly good. I guess I had it in mind that with these thin tires and small wheels and no suspension that I wasn't going to like the ride feel, but I did. The bike is so light and responsive, I could easily see myself using this as part of a daily urban commute. A pro and a con to keep in mind. To 
keep down on the weight, there is no kickstand, which we found to be a bit annoying. But on the plus side, there are no wires like on a traditional e-bike, which is great. There's nothing to get caught and it makes the Hummingbird really stand out. The Hummingbird seen here is in burnt orange. It also comes in yellow, blue, black, the carbon edition, or a custom color of your choice for 200 pounds more. There are a host of accessories for the Hummingbird, including the full length mud guards, which we had on the unit we tested. And I think these are a must for not getting to work all splattered in road muck. There is also a universal rack, a headlight set, a shopping basket, carry bag, men's and women's seats, and a lock set, along with these gorgeous but expensive carbon wheel sets. The Hummingbird is nimble, light, and responsive, and solves many of the problems that commuters have. Now, if it weren't so expensive. Thanks for watching. Now you know. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.